Hi folks, Joseph Kursky here with you, geographer, thinking about latitude-longitude lines across our planet Earth. How many of those lines are political boundaries, regional boundaries, national boundaries, and so on? How many of the lines are actually national boundaries? Let's consider in this video that not very many of them are national boundaries or even sub-national boundaries inside countries. Even the famed 38th parallel here in Korea, North versus South Korea, that's not actually on the 38th parallel. You can see here, there's 40 degrees north, and there's 35 degrees north, and 38 is actually not exactly on that political boundary. It's close to, but it's not actually on there. What about other latitude lines? In this video, let's talk about latitude lines, and in another video, I'll talk about longitude lines. And latitude lines, let's look at Australia. The state boundaries inside Australia, the sub-national boundaries, Northern Territory, Western Australia, etc. When we think about latitude lines, I'm using ArcGIS 3D scene viewer right here, and I've got the five degree and the one degree lines. A couple of those boundaries in Australia are actually on the or close to, as we'll talk about, on the lines of latitude. Look at that one right there, dividing New South Wales and Queensland, for example. Let's save that discussion for another video. Let's talk about some US boundaries that are on latitude lines, political lines that are on latitude lines. Let's highlight in this particular video five important lines of latitude in the USA that are also political boundaries. The most famous one, of course, and this is why I'm using the 3D scene, because we see that this line is actually a curved line uh, when you're laying it on top of the globe. It's a straight line of latitude, but looking at it in this projection, which is a 3D scene, it's, it looks curved because the lines of longitude converge toward the poles. So the lines of latitude on this projection are curved on this globe. As we'll see in a moment, the 2D scene, they look straight, horizontal. But let's take a look at one of the most famous lines in the USA. It's actually a US-Canadian border. It is the famous 49th parallel, 49th parallel. That actually divides Canada from the US. That 49th parallel divides the US from Canada from Western Minnesota th through North Dakota, Montana, all the way out to Idaho and Washington. And, in, and the Canadian provinces affected are Manitoba, Saskatchewan, Alberta, and British Columbia. Let's look at it in a 2D scene now, a 2D map view. So we can see, I've got the latitude and longitude lines in a sort of a deep red color, and I've got the political boundaries on here as well. So now we can see that 49th parallel coming across all the way as I just described it. So that's one famous line of latitude. Another famous line of latitude that's also a political boundary is 46 degrees north. Let's go down to 46 degrees north. 46 degrees north divides North Dakota and South Dakota. The third line that I'd like to feature here is 41 degrees north. That's another famous line, and I'm selecting ones that are fairly long in terms of a political boundary, but they're also a line of latitude in this video. 41 degrees north divides Colorado from Wyoming. 41 degrees north. It also forms part of the panhandle between Nebraska and Colorado. It also forms part of the notch where Utah comes in. So 41 degrees north right there. That's a fairly long line of latitude that's also a political boundary. Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, Wyoming, and in Nebraska, Colorado. 41 degrees north. The fourth one is 40 degrees north. 40 degrees north actually divides Nebraska from Kansas. So that's a famous line, 40 degrees north. That's a whole 10 degree north. That's a, a 10 degree latitude line. And the last one is 37. 37 is rather underappreciated, but it's actually one of the longest ones. It's in, in fact, it's the longest one besides the 49th parallel because 37 degrees north divides Oklahoma from Kansas and goes all the way across here to the boundary between Colorado and New Mexico, a little bit part of the boundary between Colorado and Oklahoma as well, Utah and Arizona, and it ends just northeast of Las Vegas. So 37 degrees is quite a famous line of 
latitude. That's also a political boundary you can see here. I'm panning to the west all along 37 degrees north. Interesting. So that's 49 degrees north, 46 degrees north, 41 degrees north, 40 degrees north, and 37 degrees north. There are others that we could talk about, but these are the longest ones. Now, one thing about geography that's fascinating is that the more you dig, the more interesting it becomes. So these lines of latitude that we talked about a moment ago, the political boundaries are not actually on the line of latitude. So in red here, I've got the 49th degree parallel. The line of USA-Canada political boundary is not actually on there. How close is it? Let's go ahead and measure. It's 395 feet or in this location, about 130 meters, 130 meters off. Why is that? Because these lines were surveyed in the 19th century. And when you think about it, they didn't have GPS or modern surveying equipment, but they did a remarkable job of those old surveyors. You've got to hand it to them. A remarkable job of that line is pretty darn close to 49 degrees. And when you think about it running for thousands of kilometers and thousands of miles, in fact, the U.S.-Canadian border makes little jogs, makes little jogs so that the survey line was hel held relatively true to its actual location. So you can see here as I pan to the west, there is a little bit of discrepancy and you can see how it, it gets closer and farther away. Right over here, oh my gosh, look at this. This is amazing. Right here, it's only, let's, let's, let's start over here and say, I want a new measurement. And I'm just using ArcGIS online right now from Esri, 24 feet or seven meters. It's only seven meters off. Where am I right now on the planet Earth? Right now, I am on the north end of Montana, and so as I keep going to the west, you can you can do some measurement yourself. I'm not signed into anything. I've just fired up at ArcGIS.com, and now look at the, the line of latitude, 49 degrees, is actually south of the border. Where does it cross the border? This is a fascinating thing to be able to investigate this using these mapping tools that, you've ha that you have at your fingertips. The boundary, look at that, the boundary actually crosses right here. The boundary crosses the line of latitude right here. So part of the boundary is north of the line of latitude and part of the boundary is south of the line of latitude. Again, pretty remarkable that it's so close, but ditto for these other lines. So 46 degrees north meant to divide North and South Dakota. This is, how far is that? From 46 degrees to the actual border. In this case, it's actually farther. It's six kilometers. It's about 6,000 meters off. But again, thinking about, you know, you on your mule and eating hardtack and bacon back in the, you know, the 1850s, 1860s, that's pretty remarkable how close that is. Do the same thing with these other lines that I mentioned. Look at 40 degrees north. How far was 40 degree, is 40 degrees north from the actual north, and uh, in this case, Nebraska-Kansas border? 500 feet or... 180 meters. So again, it's it's pretty amazing. Do this with the other lines of latitude. So that's a little tour of 49, 46, 41, 40, and 37 degrees north. That the political boundaries are not exactly, but really close to the lines of latitude. We'll have another video when I explore the lines of longitude. That's fascinating also. Get out there and explore and use geographic tools to investigate planet Earth. Thanks.